Houston, I found some washers. These washers are a little bit big for the, the bolt, but that's fine. Keep in mind the bolt is just stopping the rubber from sliding this way. The washer is stopping the extra large hole that I made from allowing this to come off because the bolt won't let the washer off. So this is super loose. There's almost an eighth inch gap underneath the bolt, but that's how it lets the lid open this much. If I want the lid to open more, I can back the bolt out a little bit more. If I want the pigs to work harder for their food, which I don't, I could tighten the bolt and it makes it so it only opens this much, but I want it to open this much. I want them to have their, their food. So I think that's an adequate hole. I like the trough. All I have to do now is build the pyramid. Okay. So now we have to figure out how to do the pyramid. This is what I did. I turned the, the barrel over and got it all cleaned out because it had a whole bunch of crud in it. But I, I eyeballed where the cut was at the bottom, at the top, and determined that by putting this line over here on a particular inch mark, in my case it's 13, and that side, 13, and look down that the two 13s, and it has to be the same number, okay, fit, but just barely between the two holes that I have on the sides of the feeder, right? Then I took my same square and I made 45 degree angle, right? I just put this on the scrap two by sixes that I had where the six was the same number on the bottom of each side here and over there. Cut it with my skill saw. So then I took and made two boards that were 12 inches long at the width that I had already tried. I had a scrap board. It, it's, I think it's about 14 inches, but we'll check it. And I tacked it together and it fits perfectly. So now as the food comes down, it's going to push it this way and that way. I have a gap here and I have a gap here, but all I'm going to do is make another uh, plywood pyramid to go on each side here and I'm going to lose that feed to the pigs. That's okay because the chickens and the pigs eat the same thing. So that, that crevice will fill, that crevice will fill, all the rest of the food will go this way and that way. That's perfect. I'm just going to wrap this bad boy up. So to show you, there you go. I just have the triangle inside of the two pieces of wood. I've tacked it down with some inch and five eighths screws. It doesn't go the, the whole width. This isn't suffering a lot of pressure. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a board that will fit in this hole and I'll also screw it to this. I'm not going to screw it to these. I'm not worried about a little food getting underneath here. It's just not that big of a deal. It's a pig feeder. Uh, any spare food that I have in there? Chickens. Or that deer that wandered through this morning. All right, there we have it installed. Once I put the triangles on the side, I get all rigid, barely fit. You can see it's pushed in on the corners there. Had to cram it down just slightly. It is snug. It is not moving. The good thing about it is it also can't expand under the pressure of the food unless it comes up or it gets crooked, which I don't think it can do. All right, let's see if they'll do it. I put a treat in there and showed dinner how to get in. And then she chewed on it and then went right back in, lifted it right back up again like it was nothing. But they've been walking around like they're starving today, like they forgot. So let's see. Let's see if they'll pick it up. So one more time. Dinner is definitely the bully of the group. It's 
Just goes to show you, give them two feeders. Hmm. There we go. Skinner's like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this obstructed. Breakfast is just being lazy at this point. Let's see if she'll do it. Dinner obviously doesn't know which side of the feeder is better. So she's switching. Can I lift it? Come on, Dinner, you can do it. Oh, I gotta scratch first. Very important, but scratch it. I know she can smell it in there. Standing on it is not going to help. I knew dinner was hungry because she was over watching me feed the chickens and grunting at me like, I want some of that. I'm like, what do you got? 200 pounds of it. I'm going to take the stick out over here because they're so into it right now. Let's see if they'll lift it. Okay, boom. I'd say training over. Feeder construction successful.